What's up guys, my name is Ryan, and if you're like me, you're probably quarantined in your house just daydreaming of when you can get back out into the world once this whole madness clears up. So I wanted to make a list of some places you can go after this virus. So here are my top places to visit after COVID-19. Alright, so for our first destination, we're going to head over to Scotland. Now this summer I did a road trip around Scotland and I went to the Isle of Skye. It's the greenest place I've ever been. I felt like I was on a giant golf course with some wicked rock formations. One of my favorite places in Scotland is the Old Man of Store. It's a spectacular rock formation that looks something out of a fairy tale. Another beautiful place is the Glenfinnan Viaduct. You may have seen it before in the Harry Potter films. It has this beautiful train that goes across it. I mean, it's just such a stunning place there. The main town of Edinburgh is an amazing place too. I felt like I went back in time as I was walking down the cobblestone streets there. One of my favorite things I did in Edinburgh was hike to Arthur's Seat in Hollyrod Park. It was extremely windy, but I got a wonderful view of all the city. I definitely recommend visiting Scotland if you want to go back in time and feel like you are in a fairy tale. All right, so after Scotland, we're gonna head down to Greece to visit the mystical town of Meteora. Now, Meteora is known for its ancient monasteries that are built upon massive rock pillars. Me and my brother went there about two years ago. We made the four hour drive from Athens all the way to the small town of Meteora. I felt like I was on the set of Game of Thrones just waiting for a dragon to pop out of nowhere. I was stunned by just the massive rocks and the overall scenery there. The monasteries were just mind boggling. I can't believe how they were built in the 15th and 16th centuries. Like how is that even possible? If you want, you can go into the monasteries for just like a few euros. When me and my brother went there, we had really foggy conditions that made the whole place feel magical. We had such a good time running around the rocks and taking in the beautiful scenery. It's one of the most enchanting places I've ever been. So make sure you add that to your post-corona travel list. All right, so after, we're going to head over to Spain to one of my favorite islands ever, Ibiza. Now, while Ibiza is known for its crazy nightlife and party scene, it also has some of the world's best beaches and cliff jumping. So me and my brother had the crazy idea to go there during Halloween, because why not? We spent the first few days exploring the island and I was honestly pretty disappointed because I couldn't find any cliff jump spots. But on our last day, we had a few hours before our plane was about to take off and we found this secluded cove that had some prime cliff jumps. So we hiked down and made sure the water was deep enough. We found this perfect cliff and I threw some jumps off it and my brother did a wild double backflip off the cliff. It's one of my favorite travel memories. Whether you want to go to Ibiza for cliff jumping or parting it up with Kaigo, it's one of the most entertaining places to visit. All right, so after Ibiza, we're gonna head down to Brazil to visit Rio de Janeiro. Now Rio is one of my favorite cities that I've ever visited. It's home to beautiful beaches, massive granite mountains, and an energetic culture. One of the most famous places in Rio is the iconic Christ the Redeemer. It's this massive statue that is over 125 feet tall. When I was there, I was able to get some unique 360 shots and got some beautiful views of Rio. There are also some amazing beaches. One of Rio's most famous is the Ipanema Beach. Before visiting Rio, this is what I imagined Brazil to look like. It's just a scenic beach that has so much energy. One of my favorite lookouts in Rio is the Mirante Dona Marta. Now it's this amazing lookout that has some of the best views of the entire city. I went there for sunrise and got one of my all time favorite time lapses over the Sugarloaf Mountain. If you go to Rio next year in February, you can also experience the iconic Carnival Festival. It's one of the most wild celebrations I've ever experienced. So such a cool place. Make sure you add Rio to the list. After Rio, we're gonna head up to the USA to visit one of my favorite places, Zion National Park. Now Zion is out of this world. Pictures and videos don't do it justice. It's home to steep red rock cliffs that are thousands of feet high. I and mean, they're just hard to believe. One of my favorite and most famous hikes in Zion is the hike to Angel's Landing. So it's about a five mile round trip hike that's famous for its sketchy chain trail that leads to the top of Angel's Landing. I recently did the hike. We crossed the bridge over the Virgin River and you'll head up the trail. We went up some steep switchbacks. We went through a small canyon and did even more switchbacks until we reached the top before we started Angel's Landing. Angel's Landing is famous for its thousand foot drop offs and cliffs that lead the way. I did the hike in wintertime so it was a little icy 
but I brought my 360 camera so I could get every possible angle on the trail. I was able to reach the top and the view blew my mind. I was able to see all of Zion's Canyon I and mean, it was surreal. I will say the trail was pretty